This short video explains how to link images to any website or to a flow in Procedure Flow. In Procedure Flow, you can link your images so that when the user clicks on the image, they are directed to a website or to a flow. Linked images help to make your home flow more aesthetically pleasing. First, we will be linking an image to an external website. I'll be using a Lunch and Learn image to link to Procedure Flow's YouTube video for how to solve a Rubik's Cube. I'll start by adding my image. I've added my Lunch and Learn image, and I'm ready to start the process of linking my image. Next, I'll drag a plain text shape onto my canvas. Procedure Flow uses Markdown language for linking images. So we will insert some Markdown text into our text field. The Markdown text is an exclamation mark followed by a square bracket. Enter the words alt underscore text, close the square bracket, add a regular bracket, the word image underscore URL, and close the regular bracket. For now, I'll click add. Our next step is to obtain the image's unique URL. To do this, we need to close out of our editing canvas first by clicking save and then close. In draft mode, right click on your newly added image and select copy image address. The image address is now copied to my clipboard. Click edit to return to editing mode. Now that I have retrieved the image address, I can delete the image from my canvas. Double click on your plain text shape and replace the words image URL with the copied image address. Next, go to the website that you would like to link your image to and copy the URL for the web page. Now that I've copied my URL, I'll exit out of my web page, bringing me back to my edit canvas, and I'm ready to insert the URL for my web page. First, I'm going to insert square brackets around everything that I have so far. Next, in a set of regular brackets, I'm going to insert my copied URL. Click update. The image can be resized by resizing the plain text shape, and you can also move it around your canvas. Your image is now linked to the web page you selected. The arrow beside the image tells the user that the image is linked to an external website. From draft mode, and once we push our version into the live version of the flows, the user will be able to click on my new Lunch and Learn icon and our YouTube video for how to solve a Rubik's Cube will open. Next, we are going to link a different image to a flow. The steps for linking an image to a flow are almost the same as linking an image to a website, with the final steps just being slightly different. I am going to link my incoming call image. First, I'll go to edit mode and I'll open up my plain text shape housing my incoming call image. As you can see, I've already set up my image in my plain text shape. I inserted the markdown text and I've replaced my image URL with the image address. I now need to wrap everything I have so far in a set of square brackets. Our next step is where the process changes just slightly since we are linking our image to a flow rather than to a website. So instead of retrieving our URL, we are going to retrieve the flow number for the flow that we want to link to. So for now, I will update my image. I will save and close out of my editing canvas. And I need to navigate to the flow I would like to link my image to. So I'll search for my incoming call flow and I'll copy the six digit flow number from the flows URL. 
click your browser's back button to return to the previous page and open up your editing canvas. Open up the plain text shape. And here is where we will add our link to the flow. At the very end of the text that I have so far, I'm going to add a set of square brackets. And within the brackets, I'll add the following text, flow, all lowercase, colon, and I'll paste in the flow number that I just copied and click update. My incoming call image is now linked to my incoming call flow. The hand pointer that appears when you hover over the image tells the user that the image is linked to a flow. It's just that simple to make your flows more aesthetically pleasing for your users. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the other videos in our Art of the Flow series.